When I was a little girl, a long, long, long time ago, we sang a song that some of you know. It's called Jesus Loves Me. And it's one of the songs in a book we called the Little Red Children's Hymnal, which I still own and brought tonight in case some of the parents and grandparents in the audience might recognize it. The lyrics to the song were written by Anna Barlett Warner. The backstory from several sources I looked at is that she wrote it as a poem for a very sick child. Later, a man by the name of William Bradbury added the tune and chorus. Let me just read a couple of verses for you. It's short and sweet, and then I'll relate it to you. Jesus loves me, this I know, for the Bible tells me so. Little ones to him belong. They are weak, but he is strong. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. Jesus loves me, he will stay close beside me all the way. If I love him when I die, he will take me home on high. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. The Bible tells me so. So how does that relate to tonight? Well, maybe the question to ask is, how do I see Jesus and how do I know that he loves me? Well, I cannot speak for you, but one way I see Jesus and one way I know that Jesus loves me is through you. You, my dear senior, seniors, are the hands and feet of Jesus. I have seen Jesus through you, how you act, how you talk, how you serve, how you respond to each other. Let me give you some examples. I have seen Jesus through many of you on Arts Day. Arts Day was fun in 2022. You as seniors led the way with your positive responses to every act. If it was underclass, under class persons on stage, you clapped and cheered. If it was on faculty on stage, you laughed and screamed encouragement. If someone needed a little light from a phone, you turned it on. And if persons asked you to be part of the mosh pit, you obliged. You were the hands and feet of Jesus that day. You showed love and Doc is better for it. I have seen Jesus through many of you in the classroom. I have the privilege of teaching a lot of elective classes with students from all grade levels interspersed together. It can be a little intimidating to be the only freshman in what seems like an upperclassman class. One nice memory I have is from historic and regional cuisine where I saw students working together toward a common goal, a project on the food of a specific region in very positive and heartwarming ways. In one example, a senior took charge and kindly distributed a task to each person. Then it was work time and work they did. The final presentation was amazing. Each student did an excellent job contributing to the whole. Students working with and helping each other, being better together than by themselves. I saw Jesus. I have seen Jesus through many of you on the athletic field or talking about the game the next day. Athletics is a big part of the Doc High School experience for many of you, many of us. How you reacted to disappointments, how you reacted to success, all good, all potential Jesus moments. It's awesome to see and to hear your thoughts about it, both in the moment and then your reflections later on. Jesus with you, Jesus there. I have seen Jesus in my advisor group, just a small microcosm of your senior class. I inherited my advisor group this year from Mrs. McTavish, who retired in 2021. What a positive, life-giving group. Whether playing hangman, Dutch blitz, Uno, giving me a retirement party, or praying for each other, students have been kind, friendly, inclusive, and incredibly loud. I have seen Jesus in you. I have seen Jesus in chapel. When students share honestly about a difficult experience, give their testimony, share a piece of their senior speech, lead in worship, sing My Lighthouse at the top of their lungs and know every word and every motion, ask each other for, for forgiveness, pray for each other, pray for the world, I have seen Jesus. I have seen Jesus at all school fundraisers. In the fall, our National Honor Society led a campaign for Pendridge Fish. Most of the items contributed went to fill backpacks of students for second semester who needed a little extra notebook paper, pencils, etc. In March, the whole school, EC through grade 12, did a fundraiser for Mennonite Disaster Service. 
And in April and May, some of our senior girls from Senate, Senate and beyond organized a thon to benefit cancer research for children. I have seen students work together for common goals, for someone outside themselves, for Jesus. I have seen Jesus at the all-school social. Whether students were playing badminton, stickball, spikeball, uno, creating friendship bracelets, or competing in, competing in boat races, students were happy, active, friendly, helpful, and involved. Jesus sightings, Jesus there. In chapel this year, the Bible verses from Matthew 22, 37 to 39, have hung in the back of the chapel below the balcony. They read, Jesus replied, Love the Lord your God with all your heart and with all your soul and with all your mind. This is the first and greatest commandment. And the second is like it. Love your neighbor as yourself. I like the passage. It was a good choice for our seniors this 21-22 school year. And although never perfect, they have done well, knowing that Jesus loved them and sharing that love with others. Jesus sightings, Jesus moments, Jesus love. It doesn't get better than that. Thank you.